Hey everyone, so here's a quick run through of access management in the Anypoint platform. This is gonna go through a quick block diagram of the different components that make up access management um, and how they're set up and how they're interrelated within the Anypoint platform, okay? So we're gonna start at the highest level. Uh, we're gonna start with the organization. And sometimes we also call it a business group. Um, it's interchangeable. Hopefully at some point we actually just stick to a single term for an organization within the Anypoint platform. Um, the Anypoint platform, uh, when you sign up for an account, you get a, the master organization, right? It's the top level organization, and you can also assign or create sub organizations. Each organization has a set of roles, and then you assign permissions to each of these roles, right, within the platform for the user. Next, you have environments, right? So, with an organization, you can create um, either a production environment or a sandbox environment, and you can have multiples of each, right? And they're tied to an organization. Um, for that you de define, right? Additionally, if your account is entitled for VPCs, you can also define VPC, VPCs specific for that business group. And you can see here when you create a VPC, you can select a business group to assign um, to that VPC. Um, and also you can assign environments or, or a single environment to a VPC, okay? Uh, again, you can create sub organizations within the Unipoint platform, and each sub organization has its own can have its own set of environments as well as its own set of VPCs. And VPCs can also be shared across organizations, right? So you can actually have a VPC um, that's shared across organization, the master organization, and then the sub organizations. Um, additionally, each organization has its own set of roles, and then set of permissions of those roles for um, the, the platform. Within the sub-organizations, when you create a sub-organization, um, you can define whether or not they can create their own sub-orgs, um, how many V cores are, are they can use within production or their sandbox environments, um, and you can also set the owner of the specific business group. Okay. Um, next, of course, is the users. When you sign up for an account within the Anypoint platform, you are assigned the organization administrator account and then you can invite other users to the Anypoint platform, right? Um, each of these users that accepts the invitation, you can assign them different roles and permissions, right? So when you click on a user's name uh, within Access Management under Users, you can actually assign them different permissions and different roles based off of you know the, the certain function um, that you want them uh, to be enabled for within the platform, right? So APIs, Runtime Manager, um, we won't go into MQ or Data Gateway or Design Center today, but um, you get the you get the idea. Okay. Um, switching over to roles, right? So again, uh, uh, earlier I was talking about the organization administrator. That's the first person that signs up for the master account, uh, the master organization within the endpoint platform, and then roles are generally broken up uh, out of the box, broken out into three different sections or three different. Uh, the three different tools uh, within our platform API management right cloud hub per environment right so we actually set up different roles um, for each environment and then also exchange and then within each uh, role or a set of roles um, the the names pretty much uh, you know describe what those are for right so they can either be an administrator right a creator they can be a developer a contributor or they can just be a viewer of that specific um, function of the platform, right? So API management has a portal viewer, um, Exchange just has a viewer of those um, specific assets within Exchange, okay? Um, looking at the different roles, right? So we look at the Exchange roles, right? Um, they fall underneath the roles and they're specific for the Exchange. You can see that within the roles, uh, when, when you, out of the box, you have the Exchange administrator, Exchange contributor, and Exchange viewer. Next, we have API management, right? And API management is a little different from Exchange. You have uh, the roles, so starting off with the roles, you have API creators, right? Users that can actually create APIs within the API management solution. Um, owner or API version owners, right? Owners of all API versions in the business group. And then lastly, just portal viewers, right? Viewers that can just, uh, users that just have a view of the portals within the business groups, okay? Um, API permissions are API manager permissions are a little different. Um, when you assign a user a API permission, it can uh, it, it's granular enough down to the API level, right? So you'll define 
which API they have access to, which versions, and then what their permission is, right? It, it, with, if they are a API version owner or if they're an API portal viewer, right? So it, it's, it's pretty granular down to that level, okay? And it's specific for each organization, right? So you would define permissions uh, with an organization two for user or organization um, you know, a three for that specific API that's in that organization for that user as well, okay? Uh, and lastly is are, are the roles for Runtime Manager Cloud Hub, right? Uh, and this one's a little bit different uh, in terms of the fact that when you create a new environment, it'll auto-create the roles for you specific to those environments, right? And every environment that you create has those three sets, right? The admin, the developer, and the support user, right? So in this screenshot here, um, this was for an environment that just had one specific environment, right? Uh, and it, it, it's Cloud Hub admin production, Cloud Hub developer production, Cloud Hub support production, right? So if you added another sandbox one, there would be um, roles for that sandbox environment. Um, from a permission standpoint, right, it can get pretty granular down to the specific environment and then down to the specific permission of access, right? So creating an application, deleting an application, downloading an application, um, it, it's also very granular when you define these permissions for that user uh, within that organization. Okay. Um, so that pretty much covers uh, all the different um, features of access management in terms of the different components, right? So you have your different organizations, you have the roles, the permissions, uh, the users, and, and the kind of the, inter the relationship between VPCs environments, right? Um, I, I'm not going to cover identity management, uh, external identity management in this uh, segment. I'll probably cover that in a part two, but hopefully this gives you a good sense of how access management is set up in any point platform. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate, reach out. Thanks.